Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to a new Civilization VI Let's Play. We're playing in Gathering Storm. We're playing with a couple of basic UI mods, nothing too crazy. I want to make sure that my uh, game is relatable. Uh, but we are going to be playing. I, uh, I want to say it was yesterday I posted a post on YouTube, and I asked you guys, what would you like to see in a new series? And uh, it looks like two interesting ones were voted to the top. It was the... Um, where is it? It is the... Uh, you want you guys haven't seen me do a religious or diplomatic victory in a long time, and you also wanted to see an 8-player game with all of the duplicate leaders. So that would be a pretty interesting one in my opinion. So we might do a combo where we do um, a 8-player game with all the duplicate leaders. So we'll have Eleanor. I don't want to play Eleanor because I've already played her, but we'll have both thingies. Let me see. Allow duplicate. Uh, so we're going to allow duplicates of the same Civ in the game. And I think... I have to try and remember now <laughs> which duplicates are which. Let's see if we can find the duplicates. Victoria, and then we want France. Where is France? So Eleanor, Eleanor... Both the Eleanors, both Victoria and France, and then the other duplicates are, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, Gandhi and Gorgo and Pericles, I think, are the other two that we want to have in here. So Gorgo and Pericles. And then finally, we are going to play India, because we haven't played a game as India in a while. Now, I'm going to do a religious victory, which means we're going to be playing as Gandhi. We'll put Chanj, Chanj Ra Gupta in here somewhere. So all of the duplicate leaders, and we are going to be going for a religious victory. So, uh, we are going to be playing on a Pangea map. Uh, DD difficulty, Ancient Era start. There should be some city-states. I'm thinking, oh my god, up to 60, no. Uh, we'll do... Uh, 12 city-states, which I think is fairly standard, and we'll go up to Disaster Intensity 4, because that's always exciting to have a bunch of disasters happen. We're playing on pretty much standard settings with a random start link. I'll put the sea level low, just so there's a little bit of extra land to play with. Um, and to make things even more interesting, what we will do is we will put the resource quantity to sparse. And the... Um, where is the button... Everything else will be standard, and I might make it arid. We'll leave everything standard, right? So we'll have sparse resources. Maybe we'll do a legendary start. Legendary start with sparse resources, so our capital will be extra important. And uh, yeah, we'll leave that as it is. So those are the settings. Let us go ahead and jump into the game. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know how well this is going to play, but hopefully it will be interesting and exciting for the viewer From the first so we do need to talk about gandhi's bonuses uh first of all he has sati garaha which gives him plus five faith for each civilization they have met that has founded a religion and is not currently at war so that's going to give us an extra little bit of faith throughout the game and opposing civilizations receive double the war weariness for fighting against me so that's a pretty good defensive bonus because it's going to hurt their economy uh, as a result of being at war with me we also get dharma which gives us the follower beliefs in a city for each religion that has at least one follower and cities gain an amenity for every religion with at least one follower that is a nice little update to gandhi that they got in the gathering storm expansion i believe missionaries have plus two spreads and 100% religious pressure from our trade routes we also get the Varro and Stepwell which we will talk about briefly oh my word this is an absolutely awful starting location um, let's go ahead and look up the step well so we could talk about this a little bit it's plus one food plus one housing and plus one faith at feudalism and plus one food at professional sports it also awards healing when you pillage it and it prevents food loss during drought and they can be built pretty much on any flat land. The other thing that we get is the Varu, which could potentially open up an early game military push. It is a replacement. Not a replacement. It is a unique um, heavy cavalry class that comes in between the heavy chariot and the knight. So we could definitely make use of that if we so choose. Um, this is a pretty weak starting location. So we're going to move east to look for a better one. 
there's a great holy site in there, but um, yeah, that's a pretty rough spot to start. So in terms of getting started here, what do we want to do? I could move to the rice and settle on the rice and then purchase out to here to put a holy site. And I think in the interest of making the game interesting, we will do that. We're going to settle the rice. We get a little bit of error score for that and then we'll keep exploring here. So the very first thing we are going to want to research is mining into astrology because we need to be able to get rid of this forest to put our holy site there. Uh, our opening unit will be possibly a farmer we could put a couple of farms we could put a farm here on this resource to get us some extra production i think very rarely do i open builder but i think in this particular starting location we're in a very weak position so i am going to open with a builder to try and improve our tile yields because they're very very weak i would almost never start with a builder in a normal game but i think it is just a necessary thing that i have to do it's a lot of mountains around here, which means potentially very, very good holy sites for us if we can take advantage of that. Definitely would maybe like to settle on the gypsum. All right, we've already grown a pop in here, and I think I'd like to work the production because it'll only take the city one extra turn to grow. And I'm going to start purchasing in the direction of this as soon as possible because we want to have this to be able to place our holy site. These are some pretty crazy mountains. That we are encountering right now oh we could be very easily killed here depending on how close she is we are going to send her a delegation and she only has one extra city so i'm gonna have to bring that warrior back unfortunately to defend myself and i had to spend that money Who deserves more credit than okay the there's mining we're gonna need some money And we shall improve these tiles to get a little bit of extra production. Okay, so we are going to grab ourselves a slinger to be able to defend ourselves. We're going to put a mine there to get the extra piece of production. And then we'll go improve that other mine as well. We've almost got Code of Laws. That is best. And we will plug in Barbarian Combat and plus one production. Actually, I really want to get my Pantheon first, so I'm going to go ahead and work on that. We're going to go ahead and get to work on Craftsmanship so that we can maybe build extra military units if the need arises. I feel like she's hanging around, potentially That's looking to declare war on me. And my dog is scratching at my door, which is very annoying. So we're going to go ahead and put a mine right there. And we'll go ahead and go there. Yeah, it looks like she wants to go to war with me, which is very dangerous for me. So I am going to need money. Uh, let's see. We're going to have a bit of time before we can purchase this, so I think I'll have time to get a settler or a warrior out. I think I'll go for a settler here, and I think we'll put the farm down, which will give us a boost to craftsmanship and irrigation, and we'll make this city into a slightly better city in terms of tile production. You're going to hang out there. Hopefully these okay. units walk away. So she's a little bit more friendly. I need to hold on to my gold as much as I would normally like to send a delegation. Your delegation is most welcome. Maybe I can get a friendship with her. And uh, let's see. Okay. We got a delegation with Eleanor. Of the French version of Eleanor. Okay. And I think I have created enough uh, defensive power to make her walk away. There's also France down here that we have to worry about. Now I feel safe with doing a little bit of exploration. Without a knowledge of There's holy sites. Let's go ahead and purchase this tile. Plus five right there. We want to finish the settler first. 
is Pericles, not France at all. Uh, let's go ahead and head towards picking up archers by getting animal husbandry, because that's going to be important to be able to defend ourselves. Uh, looks like we're pretty boxed in by the AI here, but that could be a good thing for us if we uh, can get our religious conversion going early. Without Not a whole lot of room to settle, in all honesty, which is rough. First settler is out, and it might be good to go settle on the gypsum. Might be good to settle right here, actually, on the wheat, because that would open up some options for us later. Let's go ahead and grab foreign trade now. We'll go to the next turn. First settler is almost out. There is the true France, I guess you could say. So... Um, I'm thinking if I settle here, I could settle here, put an aqueduct here, which would get the extra amenity from being beside the geothermal fissure. Then I could put a holy site right here. We would of course need bronze working for that, which will take a very long time to get. Um... And this would be at least a plus three holy site. The downside is this is actually a plus four holy site over here. So I think we're going to settle here for the sake of it. And we're going to work on a holy site. And we need to, we're going to have to work holy site projects in order to guarantee that we get a religion. That's going to be important. Um, normally I would prefer not to do that, but because of the starting situation out, that we got, Mount it's just a little bit unfortunate. And we didn't meet Nazca first, which is also slightly unfortunate. If we do settle some desert, though, Nazca will be nice to get suzerainty of. They are building a campus. We're going to settle right here. We're going to delete that pin. And I don't have enough money to buy out to where I want to put my holy site. So in the meantime, I'm going to get myself a second slinger to be able to defend myself a little bit better. Um, that should be fine. As much as I really, really want a granary in here to help the city continue to grow... Um, we just have to settle off of um, thing. Now, that was something I was worried about that they would forward settle me, uh, which is going to severely limit my ability to settle in future, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab pottery because we do need a granary really early in Agra to help it grow. We're going to be in a dark age unless we get another little bit of... Um, Thing. And I think if we finish that holy site, we will get a normal age. See, they're already boxing me in over here. Yep, I'm leaving those city-states alone for sure. This is going to be a very rough game. Because um, we're already boxed in from what looks like two sides. So we have to expand out to the west, which is a difficult direction to expand. We're already behind on great profit generation. So unfortunately, as much as I don't like doing this, we're probably going to have to run at least two of those. In order to secure our religion. Let's go ahead and pick up archery. The delegation is welcome. He's going to be friends. I'm going to get a friendship with him so that he won't declare war on me. Right, I'll send him a delegation and hopefully that will make him more amenable to being friends. Yeah, we are we are super boxed in here. Uh, and then we're going to go for early empire to get settlers out. Because I think our only hope now is to get settlers out at a reasonable speed. Production focus. We shouldn't be working that farm because we don't need the extra food. We would rather get a bit of production. Um, I'm surprised I haven't pick the pantheon yet because i have the 25 faiths to get one there it is okay so um if we're going for a religious game we're going to want something that gives us extra religious generation and we want extra faith generation if we can get it 
So let's have a look. Don't have a whole lot of mines. Not really any good faith generation. I could grab Divine Spark, which would help me get a... Actually found my religion. Wouldn't really do a whole lot else for me, though. I don't see any Tundra around that I could settle to get extra faith from my Tundra. Um, yeah, this is actually a pretty rough one. I don't see much stone either. Which really sucks. Uh, we're not going to have a very good faith generating pantheon. I think maybe our best bet then is to just pick up Divine Spark to get our religion a little bit sooner. Yeah, for the lack of a better option, it's really the only one that gives us value, as far as I can tell, in the current situation. Okay, it's good to keep an eye on these guys. Definitely would like to maybe settle up over here if I could. Oh, I think I'm dead. I thought I'd gotten a friendship with him, but I guess I did not. And now I'm blocked from making any more progress towards here. Yeah, I think I might be dead here. Which really, 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 really sucks. Well, we're dead. Let's just go ahead and restart. So we got we got a really, really, really bad start there. And uh, I wasn't able to secure the friendship with Pericles. And I was just, I was just a really, really rough start. And I didn't build enough military. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and straight up restart. I don't think there's any way to survive. Uh, and that, that particular start was really, really RNG. And really, really bad. Normally you don't get boxed in by two sieves like that against the whole mountain range. Especially when I picked like a fairly normal map, I thought. Um, so that was just a really, really rough start. So we'll just go ahead and start again and not even worry about it. I figured I'll leave this into the video so you guys can see that, yes, occasionally I do get shit stomped by the AI at the start of the game. Um, I should have maybe predicted that that was coming. But I mean, I pretty much built like a slinger as soon as possible. Okay, so this is another one of those really, really rough starts. However, we do have the potential for a Pantheon generation here. Um... So looking at this start, <clears throat> the question is, do I want to move to the spices? I really do want to move to the spices because that's really, really powerful. I could sell that off early. Um, however, it would leave me with limited options because all this is jungle and I would move away from potentially laying down a holy site. I might have to lay down a really weak holy site in my capital. So we're going to move to that to settle that. I could potentially put the holy site here and then just not bother with the aqueduct because what I was thinking, what I was thinking was like aqueduct here, holy site here. Um, I was thinking of putting an aqueduct here because of this. This would get me plus one amenity and a bunch of extra housing. But the reality is I might have to actually just put my holy site there in order to get a holy site that's decent in this location, which really sucks because I'm giving up a really nice bonus, but I think that's a necessary thing. If we are planning on going for a religious victory, I think that's just a necessary evil that we have to do. Um, and we're going to go straight for astrology in this game rather than go for the builder because we have a little bit of a better start. And what this will allow me to do is to maybe go slinger first instead of builder first. The slinger is a little bit more useful in this position. By settling this, we get a really great growth tile. I'd rather work production than science, although the science would get me to a religion sooner. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. That's fine. Okay, there is desert down here, so we have desert potential for a Petra or a backup pantheon. Knowledge of writing. That's not a very good boost to get. Okay, so looking a little bit more uh, reasonable in terms of spawn location here. It's not quite as horrendous as the last one. So you've got six turns to burn. Um, let's see, how fast could we get a settler? I'd like going fast settler before I go religion. If I do these two tiles, I could get it in 11 turns, which is pretty reasonable for a first settler. 
I want to do a little bit more scouting. We want to know what the local area looks like. I'm going to scout up this way. I can't really tell. I feel like I'm to the north of a desert, maybe? Yeah, okay. So that's kind of a dead tile. I wonder why the map looks like this. I've been get, that's two games in a row. I got a bunch of mountains. I mean, I'm not like hardcore complaining because mountains are really good for holy sites, but still. My word. This is some crazy map generation right here. Uh, we're going to wait a turn to get the plus five combat strength before we start trying to clear this barb camp. A physician without a knowledge of astrology. Okay, there's wisdom. astrology. Now, unfortunately, we do have to kill. Wait a minute. Why can't I get rid of that? Normally, you can get rid of these. You can just straight up place a district on top of them. Damn. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go for a really weak camp, uh, holy site in here. Just to get our religion in a reasonable amount of time. Well, actually, we can buy this tile and put it here. That seems a little bit more fair. We did meet Fez. We were not the first to meet Fez. However, Fez is quite good. Um, because if we convert cities, we'll get sides from it. Uh, so we have astrology. It would be good to pick up mining to be able to clear out forests and stuff like that if it's necessary. Let's go ahead and plug in the plus five combat strength. And we're also going to plug in God King. Normally I would go for this. I've been kind of favoring God King early game because it's a way to get faith, which is usually rough to come by in the early game. Uh, we're going to go for foreign trade for an early trader. I was not the first to meet Vilnius. What are their missions out of curiosity? Uh, you want a government plaza and you want to destroy a barb outpost within five tiles of Fez. Okay. Okay, we'll attack here. Oh, I accidentally switched away here. I was supposed to finish the settler. That was a super inefficient move. Okay, we cleared that camp. Need to figure out where our settler is going. Battle cry promotion. Volley promotion. Some great land here potential for um Who deserves more credit? So city wise, it would be nice to settle a couple of cities in and around over here. I hope I can walk through your territory. I can. Uh, so there's astrology mining. Trying to think what our next move might be. Irrigation might not be terrible to pick up. I'm going to pick up animal husbandry just so I can see horses. Because horses are a good early game resource. Haven't met another AI yet. So I kind of got an isolated start. Which is pretty useful. And I want to settle these cities as close together as possible. Um, so I'm thinking. Right here. Holy site there. Alternatively, I could settle the Citrus, which is slightly further out, and would block some future cities, make my future city slightly more inefficient, but I would have another luxury to sell to the AI, potentially. Let's go ahead and get the Holy Site. People are already earning great profit, so I have to try and secure my religion. Okay. There's an amazing Petra down here. And actually, there's the chops for a Petra. So we could go for this. We could go for this Petra if we wanted. And I think it would be incredible not to. It would be an incredible mistake to not go for this Petra. If I'm going to go for the Petra, I would want to settle like right here. makes settling a little bit awkward for me in the future but we can start building up this city towards a petra really really early I am fond of let's choose our research we are going to go ahead and start working towards petra which is going to require a trade route and potentially three different districts there's the holy site we're going to settle right here So now, I would love to be working on a thing in here. We're going to need builders. We're going to need 
I, I could go for the pyramids. I have a quarry potential. If I go a quick builder in the capital, improve that stone. Then use the builder to chop this out. Potentially a good pyramid play here. Let's get this killed. Have not met another sieve, which is kind of concerning. And surprising. If we can get to work on a trader in here, it'll take 21 turns. You, on the other hand, really want to get early empire if I can. Because that would give me Magnus in Hyderabad, which would allow me to get the pyramids up. And if I can get the pyramids, I would have a much easier time getting the Petra. As much as I want to be settling right now, it's just not an option. Okay, two people are earning points. We are going to have to, after this builder, go for a shrine and then a holy site project. Because we need to secure that religion. Choose a pantheon. Do we have a good pantheon here? Uh, Goddess of the Harvest is really, really good for faith generation. Quarry, we're planning harvesting anyway. So I think for the purpose... Of faith generation, we're going to take Goddess of the Harvest because that means there's potentially a whole lot of faith in all this forest and stuff that's around. Okay, looking okay in there. Let's explore a little bit down this way. Looks like there's a natural wonder down here that we could have maybe settled if we were a little bit smarter. Great bath, Hanging Gardens is gone. Improve the quarry. Let's grab a good tile there. Being able to harvest the jungle would be good. There is a slinger. Let's go ahead and get the kill here. There's early empire. We'll be able to get Magnus. Stonehenge has been built. Okay, so this builder needs to get down here and be in position to chop a forest. We'll have to use jungle chops to get Petra, which kind of sucks. What a grand sight but there's Aluru. The Alright, there's Aluru. Um, let's back up and fortify bring you around this way you go there and heal you pop up onto this hill we're lacking housing over here so now we can go say focus on production we don't need quite as much food about to finish the shrine We'd love to send more builders down here. Can I get away with this? How many people are earning points towards great people? Too many. Too many people are earning great points towards great people. I mean, there are five religions in this game, so we're not in like a super hardcore rush. So I could potentially get another builder to send down to Hyderabad in order to grab the pyramids. Um, it's going to take a very, very long time to get the pyramids. Go ahead and get your hit in. I'd also like to change my government here if I could. I'm going to spend the 25 gold to put in the extra production now. You wait there. You heal up. You're going to hit me. I'll hit you back and it should be a kill. Awesome. You're waiting in position. We want to be able to chop jungle as well. Okay, we've almost got the trader in here, which we will use to boost the production and food in Hyderabad in order to get it to be uh, more efficient for producing a wonder. We have it down to 42 turns. I think I can get that down a lot more with the use of Magnus. We are going to send, send this to Delhi. And now we immediately go into making the pyramids and we're going to put it right there. We have to wait for Magnus, trying to be in a, as efficient as possible. 
I heard a barb camp appear, but I'm not sure where it appeared. It appears over here, so we need to try and get over there to actually defeat that. You're holding position. Just hopefully the scout goes in a different direction. There's another builder to help. Now we can get to work on settlers to start uh, getting our empire up and running. You heal for a turn. Pull you back. Bronze is the There's bronze working so we can remove jungle. Let's plug in the settler production. As much as that's going to hurt the production of the um, thingadoodle. You go this way, you go here. Gonna grab Exodus the Evangelist so that we might be able to spread our religion a bit. Two religions are gone. Two people aren't earning great profit, so I'm not under tremendous pressure at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way towards Petra. And then make our way towards political philosophy too. I think our best move here is to just build an improvement because we can't take advantage of this yet. Oh, I need to appoint Magnus into that city. Uh, need to grab Magnus and appoint him into Hyderabad. I lost a turn on that. You're going to shoot this guy. Get this kill. Move there. Okay. Need to be in position to chop. Want to wait till Magnus is established to make sure we get this in a reasonable time frame. Okay, that guy died. We can take the time to heal. Unfortunately, we missed out on the gold from that barb camp, but we've defended our empire. You're going to go stand there. We'll do a few of these chops. Two more turns until Magnus is established. Got our next settler. I think we want to settle right. Okay, I think we want to settle right here. Could settle on the chocolate. That would block another city up over here, which I don't want to do. I don't want to block that. I want to try and fit as many cities in. So we're going to sacrifice getting the really nice settle. Do I need more builders for this city? Um, I'd love to get a campus up because the boost for... The boost for Petrotech is having three different districts. And there's a plus five campus right there. So let's take the time to get that. It's only nine turns of a detour for doubling our science. And then you're going to head this way to guard more settlers. One more turn until Magnus is established. And then we can safely chop efficiently. I don't know if I will get the pyramids, but I'm going to make a goddamn attempt at it. We'll buy that tile. We'll chop. That'll force growth. City is on production focus. And then we'll chop here. Down to 13 turns. And then we'll chop again up here. Plus we get a bunch of faith out of that. Which means we'll be able to spread our religion. It's two more religions. Available. But there's two sieves not going for a religion. So I'm feeling pretty confident that I'll be able to get a religion this game. Right there. There's iron here too. You are going to chop the jungle and then put a mine on it. Temple of Artemis is gone. Seven turns until that. If, that, if these had been jungle chops, it would have been way. I, I would have finished this, certainly. Okay, now I need a third district. <sighs> In order to get the Petra a little bit quicker. 
We're going to build an encampment, even though I normally wouldn't. The city will slowly grow and hopefully build it in time. So five turns until the pyramids are gotten. I have not met another sieve, which is really, really rare that I have a game like this, where I don't meet a sieve until turn like 50. Okay, we've got a unit over here. He's going to hopefully come towards me and attack me, and then I'll be able to get the first shot. I should have totally switched my government policy because I'm not building settlers right now. It would have given me a little bit of extra production. Might have shaved the turn off this. If I get one turned on this, I'm going to be really, really sad. Okay, that should be a kill. A little bit of exploration going on. My sadness is immeasurable. Right, we're going to translate this into a settler. It's the best backup we've got. I think I am going to purchase the great person. In order to make sure that I get it. Okay, so. Uh, in light of not getting that, we are going to do what? I think a scout at this point is pretty reasonable. I'm so sad that we missed out on that. We invested pretty heavily into getting it, and then not to get it is, like, pretty painful. Um, but we can translate it into settlers, at least. So how do I build this city up into being better at getting Petra? Really, it would be gold generation. Um, getting the government plaza wouldn't be terrible either. And there's, like, a decent spot like here-ish maybe I'm trying to think where I could put the government plaza where it would give me some benefits I could put it out into the desert um, but I would need more gold I'd love to get a holy site to start generating more faith um, but builders are also a way for me to generate faith so that's pretty cool the granary would help the city to grow a bit which I could then turn into more settler production. So I'm going to go stop off and grab that. You. I think this banana tile is really, really powerful. So I'm going to, I'd love to stop and grab irrigation and then currency and then mathematics. We are still going to go for Petra. Um, but it's going to be a fairly weak attempt i think because we don't have the resource generation to get a petra in a reasonable amount of time so where do i want to settle this guy um there's quite a few good spots if i settle here there's an aqueduct there's a nice combo of districts here where i go uh aqueduct holy site city center in a nice little triangle for faith generation and amenities and all that sort of stuff and then we have some desert tiles available to us Apadana has been built. Looks like somebody else lives in the desert if a lot of the desert wonders are being built, which is scary because I want to build a desert wonder in particular. One particular desert wonder. So let's go straight for the holy site. We need that ASAP to start our faith generation. Governor title. Um, it's a point Pingala in Delhi. So that we can start getting extra science and culture and all that jazz. We will found our religion. Choose religion. We will go for uh, probably Buddhism. Or Hinduism, I guess, for India. Okay, so... Unfortunately, all the faith generation um, follower beliefs are gone. Culture is a nice one because it would mean we would get into the we would get into some of the later stuff earlier. Uh, extra housing would allow us to work bigger cities, which would in turn let us work more specialist tiles for faith. 
So I feel like religious community here is an okay one. And then I want to go for, if we're going to be purchasing a bajillion missionaries and apostles, we'll go ahead and take holy order. Um, so now we need to get our religion spreading. That'll be a bit of work, but it'll be fine. Okay, we met Pericles. That's a good thing. Who has grit enough. Okay, we're off to a rough start again, but it's not the worst start I've ever encountered. Like, that other one was pretty bad. Okay, why don't you... You want 10 gold for that. That's fine. I just want to make sure that we have good diplomacy. 10 gold per turn for my luxuries. That'll help out quite a bit. Just hope he doesn't declare war on me. The classical era currency. Um, we completed the granary in here, so now the city is growing. So let's make sure we're working all of the two food, two production tiles that we can. And then we are going to grab ourselves more settlers. sooner we get these settlers the better we're up to four cities at 60 turns which is not awful it's not ideal but it's not awful we're very very secluded by mountains here petra is maybe a pipe dream petra is probably a pipe dream but with this builder we might be able to make something happen let's queue up an extra builder it will be really nice to get petra Oh, shoot. We are not... Okay, he got the first hit in. That's actually really good. We met another city-state. That's going to boost political philosophy. I'm going to wait on this. Um, let's get this up. You keep exploring. Ben? Here's the court of Eleanor. She's all the way over there. We'll certainly send her a delegation and try to make friends with her. We also need to get some of these luxuries online so we can get extra gold generation. Ah, unfortunately, I was I was gambling on the camp not being taken so I could get the gold from it. That did not work out, as you can see. We're going to keep trading with Delhi. Because I need the gold. You're going to also improve that so I can sell those oranges. And then I'll probably go Haboob Dust Storm over here, of all places. That actually did improve the quality of these tiles quite a bit so we could potentially settle here and take advantage of that there is a player over there we are near tundra we definitely need to keep settling we're not going to make this in time which really sucks but we can sell this luxury now you won't take a delegation now, won't you not? But you might buy my citrus. Okay, you won't buy it for a reasonable amount of gold. You pay 10 gold. Yep. All the gold we can get, we can translate into advantages. Okay, looks like it did a bit of damage. Killed one of our pops and damaged a tile. But it improved the quality of the yields over here. Which is exactly the kind of thing we want. I'm going to fortify you there. I'm a little bit light on military. But usually usually a warrior and a slinger is all you need to survive early game. Um, unless you get like super aggressed upon. I'd really like you to move. Um, you're in my way. This tile actually becomes almost like a plains, like a weak plains hill. Just stay fortified. Reduce the amount of damage you take. Okay, France, we will send a delegation to because we want to make sure we're trying to be friendly with people. The friendlier we are with people, the better off we are. They demand gold rather than take it. She might buy my horses, though, for a little bit of money. Every little chunk of gold we can get, we can translate into um, benefits for our empire. Let's wipe this guy out. Okay, a little bit of an extra long episode. 
um, than I would normally produce simply because we had that like restart. So I'm going to call that the end of this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying seeing me uh, struggle my way through this duplicate religion game. Uh, we did manage to secure religion. We did have to invest a lot of resources in getting that. However, we will be able to start spreading our religion with our extra strong missionaries thanks to a combination of our um, personal beliefs and stuff like that. We're also getting some extra faith generation. I'm really sad that I didn't meet people fast enough um, because I missed out on a lot of the faith generation potential there. Okay. Yeah, this guy has just like decided that this is where he stands. Oh, you know what? This is worth more production. Although now it's time to focus on growth because we need to grow up to the pop. I, f I regret building this encampment. It might be useful for getting railroads later to be able to move around uh, missionaries and stuff easier. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the uh, episode. I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!